गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम दैट इज ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इन दैट वी हैव टू इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुले वन गिवन बाय डी ब्रोगली एंड अनदर वन इज हेसनबर्ग अनसर्टेंटी प्रिंसिपल सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर लेट अस टॉक अबाउट डी ब्रोगलीज वेवलेंथ अर्लियर वी वर हैविंग एन आइडिया दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर शोइंग द पार्टिकल नेचर बट लेटर इट इज फाउंड आफ्टर Identifying the wavelength only that electron exists as particle as well as it shows wave nature also. Accordingly, De Broglie says that the wavelength can be calculated by using this formula. Let us see the first formula given by De Broglie. He was a French chemist. Where he heard lambda, you know, the wavelength h is equal to Planck's constant and the value is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second and p is momentum so momentum of electron from this we can derive another formula where we know that the momentum is the product of mass and velocity Hence, we can write the wavelength can be calculated by using this H by m v, where m is equal to mass of particle. If you are taking electron, you know mass is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. So accordingly, we will choose. These are subatomic particle. Either you can take electron or proton. And then V is given as the velocity of particle. Fine. Now one more last thing is if at all it moves with some kinetic energy. So how do you derive that? Let us see the third one. The relation between kinetic energy that is E and wavelength. So lambda is equal to H by root of 2em how to derive this let us use uh, the derivation here so hope we have understood the terms hence i'll erase these terms so h planck's constant p is momentum m is mass and v is velocity of the particle next so to derive the relation between lambda as well as kinetic energy we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. I am writing kinetic energy as E. So E is equal to half mv square. Now send this to other side. We get 2E is equal to mv square. Our target is to find out the value of mv. So, so that we can substitute mv here. Fine. Now 2E is equal to mv square. Let us multiply with m that is mass on both sides. Very simple. We took kinetic energy half mv square. Sending this to other side, you get 2e is equal to mv square. Now multiplying with the m on both sides, we get 2 kinetic energy into mass is equal to m square v square. Hope you have understood this. So m square v square you want to convert into mv. So we have to take take square root on both sides. On taking square root on both the sides, what we get? Root 2em is equal to now root m square v square, nothing but mv. So finally we got the value of mv, what is that? Root of 2em, therefore lambda is equal to h by mv can also be written as lambda is equal to h by root of 2em where e is nothing but kinetic energy of the particle. So hope you have understood this. So in deep Broglie's wavelength we are using these three formulae. Now let us solve the objective questions. Now let us see the numericals 1 and 2. So the first one is asked in A triple E. 2009. See, we know the formula 
Now what is given first? Let us write in terms of symbols. Calculate lambda. So they are asking what is the value of lambda associated with the subatomic particle proton, which is moving at velocity one into ten to the power of three. So let us write v is equal to ten to the power of three meter per second. Now mass is given. 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg. So H, Planck's constant 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second. So all the terms are given. Now you know the formula. Lambda is equal to H by mv. So let us calculate this. H is 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 divided by mass is given as 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg and then velocity is 10 to the power of 3. First thing is don't calculate the numbers let us go with the 10 to the power. So what you got? This is minus 34 into 27 and 3 so this is plus hence we will get minus 24 if it comes to numerator it becomes 10 to the power of plus 24 hope you are able to understand minus 27 plus 3 will be minus 24 on taking it to the numerator it becomes 10 to the power of plus 24 now it is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 10 now the value is 6.63 by 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters now on calculating this we will get 4 so now 4 into 10 power minus 10 meters is the answer but if you see it is not given in meter so all these terms are in nanometer so they are asking you to calculate the wavelength in nanometer what is meant by nanometer nothing but 10 to the power of minus 9 so you know you can take into 10 by 10 so this value will give you 10 to the power of minus 9 so 4 by 10 0 0.4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters nothing but lambda is 0.4 nanometer so hope you are able to understand this so answer is d so question number one very simple applying the terms first then you can substitute and get the answer now second question so they have given you to calculate lambda and velocity is 15% of speed of light. So you can either get in meter or centimeter. That is fine. Now let us calculate. Once again, we can take all the terms given. So question number two. So lambda, we need to calculate velocity is equal to 15% of speed of light that is nothing but 15% into 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So you can cancel it straight away this is 10 square so hence we get 10 to the power of 6 15 into 3 45. So 45 into 10 to the power of 6 meter per second. Hope you have understood if they give 15% or any percent you just take that value into the velocity of light. Now h is not given so we can take it as 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second mass of a proton we know already it is given in the first question 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg let us calculate lambda is equal to h by mv now substitute the values 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 by the mass 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 into velocity we got 45 into 10 to the power of 6 again take 10 to the power here separately minus 27 and 6 gives minus 21 so if it comes to numerator 10 to the power of minus 34 and uh, you get 10 to the power of plus 21 so hope you are able to understand 27 minus 6 
that is nothing but 1, 21 we get, numerator you got this. So next 34 minus 21, we get 13. So we write it as into 10 to the power of minus 13 meters. So the value here is 6.626 by 1.67 into 45. To save time, I have calculated it earlier also. So the value is 0 0.088 into 10 to the power of minus 13 meters. So we got lambda value. But here you can see that it is given in 10 to the power of minus 15. Let us convert that lambda 0 0.088 into 10 to the power of minus 13 meter. To convert into minus 15 10 square by 10 square. So this whole thing will be 10 to the power of minus 15 meters and into 10 square 0 0.8 0 0.088 into 10 square nothing but you get 8.8. So lambda is equal to 8.8 into 10 to the power minus 15. So answer is C. So hope you have understood this very simple. We have taken lambda value that is H by MV. So in this we have calculated the first two questions. Now let us move to third and fourth. Now let us see question number three and four. The velocity of A and B is given as 0 0.05 is A, 0 0.02 meter per second is B. They have given the statement mass of B is 5 times the mass of A and calculate the ratio of the de Broglie's wavelength. It was asked in engineering and medical common entrance test 2008. So you know the formula lambda is equal to H by mv. Applying that we can take like this lambda a by lambda b they are asking that is nothing but h by mass you can write m a v a by h by m b v b. So a and b we have written. So this can be written h by m a v a into the denominator will come like this mb vb by h h and h gets cancelled now they have given the statement the mass of b is equal to 5 times mass of a substitute this in mb so that is lambda a by lambda b is 5 times ma into what is vb here we can write like that VA is 0 0.05 meter per second, VB is 0 0.02 meter per second. Substitute that, so VB is 0 0.02 by now here MA into. So we got VA, how much? 0 0.05. So MA, MA gets cancelled, and here it is, if you take 2 by 5, it will come. Nothing but phi into 2 by phi, phi phi gets cancelled, nothing but 2 by 1. So hence, we can say that the ratio of lambda a, that is lambda a by lambda b is nothing but 2 by 1. So using this, we have solved the question number 3. Now let us move to question number 4. So in question number 4, they are giving you the kinetic energy. Hence, we use the last formula that is lambda is equal to h by root of 2 into kinetic energy into mass. So what are the terms given here? So h you know 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second by root of 2 into kinetic energy is given 3 into 10 to the power of minus 25 joule. And then what is the mass here? So they have given electron, hence mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kgs. Let us solve 10 to the power of minus 25 and 31. So you get 10 to the power of minus, that is 56, root of this. 
So always remember if you are having the root, you can take even number. So hence 10 to the power of minus 56 will be minus 20. So the square root of this value is 10 to the power of minus 28. Now let us write like this 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 by root of 2 into 3 into 9.1 here it is minus 28 will become plus 28 now we can write like this lambda is equal to hope you are able to understand a simple formula we have used and then applied that so on substitution we get this value important note you are having square root convert 10 to the power into even number like this so that you can get the square root easily. Now the answer for this will be like this 6.626. So here you get 10 to the power of minus 20. That is 10 to the power of minus 6 by. So 3 into 2, 9. Root of 9 into 9.1. So I have calculated this earlier to save time. So lambda is equal to 0. 8967 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters. So this is your answer. Now if you see the options you are having in Angstrom unit that is 10 to the power of minus 10. So this is given in 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Let us convert this. So how do you convert? Into 10 to the power of, you can take like this, 4 by 10 to the power of 4. So this value you take, that is minus 6 and here 4. If it comes to the numerator, that will become 0 0.8967 into 10 to the power of 4 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. This whole thing can be written as Einstein. Hope you are able to understand this. So finally, lambda is equal to on multiplying this, we get 8967 Einstein. So here in this, we have option D. Now let us move to question number 5 and 6. Now let us see equation number 5 and 6. So in the 5 they have given an electron of velocity x. So velocity is x to have certain wavelength lambda. Let us take lambda e. The velocity to be possessed by the neutron and it is half of the de Broglie's wavelength. Now velocity of electron you take it as x. You have to find out velocity of neutron. So lambda n is half, so hence we have written the wavelength of electron by 2. Mass of electron value you know 9.1 into 10 power minus 31. Mass of neutron 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kg. Then the formula you are already familiar. Now let us first write like this. They have given the ratio here hence we can write lambda e by lambda n nothing but h by mev mass into velocity of electron by now here for neutron we can write mass of neutron into velocity of neutron we need to calculate this let us write what is lambda e we have taken it as lambda e so let us take lambda e by the wavelength of neutron is lambda e by 2 so if it comes to the numerator it will become 2 lambda e is equal to we can take h by m e v e into m n v n by by h h and h gets cancelled lambda e and lambda e also you can cancel that so if it comes to numerator you get 2 is equal to the mass of neutron let us substitute this nothing but 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 into velocity of a neutron we need to calculate divided by so here we have mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 into so velocity of this is taken as x to get vn let us move these terms to other side you get 2 into 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 into x divided by so this whole thing is taken to other side of the equal symbol 
Now divided by 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27. Now after calculating, so to simplify, Vn will become so x by so 920. So this I have calculated and came to a conclusion that this whole thing will be 1 by 920. Now the answer is x by 920. Hope you have understood this very simple. So given that the wavelength of neutron is half of the wavelength of electron, using this alone we have identified the velocity of the neutron. Now next question that is question number 6. So this is very simple. They have given you the wavelength and they are asking you to find out the velocity. The formula remains the same. Let us write the formula that is question number 6. Velocity of electron they are asking to find out and wavelength is 1 into 10 to the power of 2 nanometers that is 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. If you want to ca cancel this you can get like this 10 to the power of minus 7 meters. So lambda is, is found out. So how to calculate? Lambda is equal to H by M V and they are asking to find V. Let us send this to other side we get V is equal to H by M lambda that is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second divided by so they have asked here for electron hence mass of electron you know 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg and lambda is given 10 to the power of minus 7 meters so this alone you can solve and then find out the value here so what we get here minus 34 and this will become 38 so plus 38 so we get plus 4 6.626 by 9.1 into 10 to the power of 4 meter per second now i have calculated that v is 7.2 10 power 3 meter per second but here you are having centimeter per second so let us calculate v is 7.2 10 power 3 meter per second so in the place of meter we can write like this 10 square centimeter per second now this will become 7.2 into 10 to the power of 5 centimeter per second. So here we can say option A is the answer. Now let us move to question number 7 and 8. Now question number 7 and 8. In question 7 they have given the mass is given of an electron and kinetic energy and they are asking to find out wavelength. For convenience I have written the solution mass kinetic energy and wavelength. The formula we know lambda is equal to h by root of 2 eem. See you if you are unable to remember the formula you can derive this. On substituting we get the wavelength 0 0.8967 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters but here you are having a nanometer hence let us convert that lambda we got 0 0.8967 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter into 10 cube by 10 cube so this will become 10 to the power of minus 9 that is equal to 0 0.8967 into 10 cube into 10 to the power of minus 9 meter so this will become nanometer now multiplying that you get 896.7 nanometer so we can write like this 896.7 nanometer option D now let us move to the question number 8 so let me write the solution now question number 8 I have solved it for you see my target is to give you more number of questions you can practice that and later check with the answers 
the cricket ball of mass 0.5 kg i have written m mass 0.5 is moving with a velocity of 100 meter per second v is 100 asking you to find out the lambda apply the same formula de broglie's wavelength lambda is equal to planck's constant by mass into velocity so we have substituted the values here and finally you get the answer 1.325 into 10 to the power of minus 35 so option c is the correct answer now let us move to the question number 9 and 10 next let us see question number 9 and 10 question number 9 says so mass of a photon moving with velocity 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second with wavelength lambda 3.6 angstrom unit they are asking to find out the mass so m we have to find out velocity is given wavelength is given and angstrom so you know that what angstrom is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 10 meters so we have converted this now the formula for de broglie's wavelength we know lambda is equal to h by mv substituting lambda we get here 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 h value we have substituted m take as m only we need to calculate and velocity 3 into 10 to the power of 8 send m to the other side we get this value now let us calculate only 10 power so we get this value minus 34 and here minus 10 and 8 will be minus 2 on taking it to the numerator we get plus 2 Hence, the answer will be 10 to the power of minus 32. So we need to calculate the other values. So finally, we get the value 6.135 into 10 to the power of minus 33 kg. Very simple. They have given the value of velocity and wavelength, and you need to calculate the mass. Use lambda is equal to h by m v. So answer is 6.135 into 10 to the power of minus 33 kg. Now let us move to question number ten. Now let us solve question number ten. They have given electron, proton, and alpha particles with a kinetic energy sixteen four and e respectively. And they are asking what is the relation between the wavelength. So my target is to give you more number of questions. So one last question also we will discuss. Given that the kinetic energy of e is that is electron sixteen e. kinetic energy of proton is 4e and kinetic energy of alpha particle is e so we already know mass of electron is 1 by approximately 1800 times of mass of proton and mass of alpha particle is equivalent to 4 times of mass of proton so alpha particle mass is 4 times of the mass of the proton using this let us apply lambda of electron wavelength of electron is H by root of 2 into kinetic energy into mass. Kinetic energy is 16e. Mass of electron I have taken in terms of the mass of proton. Why we have taken this? In all the three cases, we are comparing with the mass of proton. So hope you have understood this. If you know these two values, substitution will be very easy. Now we have substituted this, and here. the kinetic energy given for proton is 4e and the mass of proton is we can take it as mp now the last one alpha particle is h by 2 into kinetic energy is e and the mass is in related to proton it is four times if you see this the wavelength of the proton is h by root of 8e into mass of proton and the wavelength of alpha particle is also h by root of 8e into the mass of proton so both are equal and this one you know when you see this divided by 1800 we will get the least value for least value for the wavelength no need to calculate we can directly say that the wavelength of electron is less than the wavelength of proton and these two are equal hence we can write like this now option a is the correct answer hope you have understood this so now we have completed 10 questions now the last one 
नो द लास्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन सो द मोमेंटम ऑफ रेडिएशन ऑफ वेव लेंथ दे हैव मेंशन लैम्बडा वैल्यू दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री नाइन मीटर्स आस्किंग यू टू फाइंड द मोमेंटम सो यू नो द सेकंड फॉर्मूला लैम्बडा इज इक्वल टू हेच बाय मोमेंटम सेंड दिस टू अदर साइड यू गेट पी इज इक्वल टू हेच बाय लैम्बडा वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला they have given in the nanometer hence nanometer is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 9 meter on substituting this is planck's constant and here you are having the momentum finally you will get the answer 2 into 10 to the power of minus 24 so this is your answer now let me give you one question for practice velocity of electron is given as 2.1 into 10 to the power of 6 meter per second so you need to calculate the wavelength so i'll just give a hint they have given v is equal to 2.19 into 10 to the power of 6 meter per second and you know the mass of an electron 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg and planck's constant 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule into second so they have given in picometer what is meant by picometer 10 to the power of minus 12 meters so applying lambda is equal to h by mv you can calculate the value so hope you have understood so using de broglie's wavelengths we can solve the following numericals we have done 12 numericals in the next class we will be discussing about hessenberg's uncertainty principle thank you so much